In the last few months, we've experienced enormous tragedy and loss. People around the world have felt the devastating impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. And over the past few weeks, we've grieved together as the Black community has endured more senseless acts of racial terror and violence. At YouTube, we believe Black Lives Matter, and we all need to do more to dismantle systemic racism. We're committed to doing better as a platform to center and amplify Black voices and perspectives. And we're working to ensure Black users, artists, and creators can share their stories and be protected from hateful, white supremacist and bullying content. We know there is much more work for all of us to do. Months ago when the COVID-19 crisis first started, we realized that we had an important role to play in connecting people with trusted information about the virus. Working with public health officials in more than 90 countries, we made locally relevant information available on YouTube. YouTube also launched a dedicated COVID-19 news shelf in more than 30 countries. We updated our policies to prohibit misinformation about COVID-19, including promotion of unsubstantiated cures. And we're removing videos for violating these policies. 40 high profile creators have conducted interviews with leading health officials. And these interviews have received more than 43 million views. And thank you to the more than 700 creators who joined YouTube's global With Me public service announcement campaign. YouTube has also been a key learning resource for our users, but we are now seeing a record amount of engagement. The average daily views of videos with homeschooling in the title have more than tripled globally in the last three months. Creators have launched live stream series to help students of all ages stay motivated and interested in learning at home, like Khan Academy or Mark Rober. We've seen new read along for children and students are even finding ways to keep up with physical education on YouTube by tuning into daily shows like PE with Joe. We also see users relying on more do-it-yourself videos to fix home repairs during quarantine. We're finding new ways to connect and at YouTube we've seen communities bringing people together online. People are using live streams at a much higher rate and the live watch time on TV screens is up 250%. Millions have tuned into virtual celebrations of life's biggest moments and traditions, like graduations and holidays. Creators have stepped in to support global relief efforts, raising millions of dollars. Even during these incredibly difficult times, we're seeing unprecedented creativity from our creative community. YouTube creators have quickly adapted to make content that reflects the new reality, from yoga for stress release to quarantine routines. And now mainstream entertainers are embracing the authentic, homemade style of creators. Artists are bringing fans together online and making YouTube a virtual concert venue. Thanks to all the creators and organizations who are releasing new content during this very difficult time. We're also encouraging creators to grow and diversify their revenue with other forms of monetization. And since the beginning of March, we saw over 2 million viewers support creators by purchasing their first Super Chat, Super Sticker, or membership on YouTube. And with more artists now going live on YouTube, we recently announced that we'll extend the availability of Super Chat and Super Stickets to more artist channels. To assist with ad monetization and give creators more control and transparency with our policies, we're very pleased that we could release self-certification to all YPP creators. In the past few weeks, you may have heard questions raised about Section 230, a regulation in the United States law that allows YouTube to be an open platform while protecting the community from harmful content, like content that incites violence or endangers children. We believe undermining Section 230 would impact our ability to protect our community and also significantly limit content from a wide range of creators on our platform. Such a change might require online services like YouTube to over filter content, making it more difficult for creators to share breaking news, expose injustice, create educational content, and amplify a diverse set of voices and opinions. We continue working on your behalf to explain how eroding 230 would harm the creator ecosystem. The past few months have been incredibly challenging. Thank you for all the ways you're coming together to support one another and for the ways you're giving back. Whether you're connecting with people on YouTube, across your city or across the world, your voices are coming together to make a difference.